Hello. How are you doing? nearby one minute speech off where's your trash can to throw this stuff out
Oh, hi. How are you doing? Huh? Good. Did they just pop the door open in this weather? No, they don't. That would be crazy if they pop the door open in this weather. Which I highly doubt they would do.
One face near left at 13 minutes. 20 speech off. Don't 
Hey Brad, remember me? Oh, hey Brad, thank, How you, thank doing? you for the food, bro. For sure. Is there a credit card machine down or something? Because I heard I'm troubleshooting an issue or something. Oh, they have a credit card machine. Work. Like an ATM? No, no, they don't take cash. They don't. Really. I'm good though, because I don't. I mean, I probably won't stay here too much longer because the crowd's pretty. Uh, it's not like it usually is. Oh, you got a kid or something? Yeah, a bunch of them here. We got a bunch oh, of we got a bunch of them running hand? around here. This is my daughter Blake right in front of here too. Hi. Blake, you saying hi? She just walked away. She's a little toddler running away. Um, yeah. What was your name again? Joey. Joey she Hunter. Had my cane. I, she, someone had grabbed my cane. I was going to explain it to him. Oh, I didn't. That was probably They're a little too young. They're like two. Huh? They're, two they're like three. They're a little too young. Joey, what are you drinking now, man? What is that? Lager. Oh, right time. I got the. Come I got here, sour here. Come here a lot? Yeah. So, yeah. After the guy cashed again, he's like, yeah, put that back. He's like, I'm for the guy working. Yeah, Let me know, man. If you need another beer, I'm always here. I'll pour right. some beers too. Wait, so you um, you live close by? No. Far. Or? Are they I back work to pick close you up? by though. Cool. Are they coming back to pick you up? Yeah, my dad's coming to get me. Nice. Somebody's gonna tell the boys when they're there. Huh? I say you like uh, resident culture here a lot. It's a good place. Yeah, it's cool. It's a great place to meet women. Oh, there you go. There you go, man. And I wasn't the only one. I was telling that to somebody. I was telling that to somebody in another bar, and they're like, uh, yeah, especially the one in Plaza Midwest. It's like, yeah, I know that's what I go to. I was thinking, how many? There's like, are there two resident clubs? There's one here and one then, south end? Yeah. I've never been to the one in south end. The one in south end is in that building that has a bunch of clubs in it. Yeah. With Lost and Found, okay, Lost and Found is cool, right? Lost and Found does the best with what it has, but it doesn't have much because it was a uh, it was a uh, some kind of repair shop, and the building is so impervious that you can't get any vibration, like you can't feel anything. Interesting. Like you know how in the club when you go and you can feel the music and like yeah. feel it in here and stuff, you can't there because it's so it's so impervious. You know. That it just absorbs everything. I'm um my background's um, I'm a structural engineer. Oh wow! And um, no, but you, you got me thinking about it a lot now too because we always talk about the stiffness of buildings. Yeah, like so how like, is the it built? Yeah, right. And so like I actually a lot of stuff that I do is for uh, nuclear power plants, and so they they traditionally build these things to be very stiff. And so you really wouldn't feel a lot of the vibration, so whereas like a flexible a, building, you feel more, right? Uh huh. Like if so, if you had a party in a nuclear power plant, yeah. So and if you have like top of the line speakers, you wouldn't feel anything. I I think you're right. That's what you got me thinking about that. And like so, I, you know, you think about it sometimes too for like you're probably very in tune with like high frequency. Like you can probably feel high frequency. Well, I'm actually hearing impaired. So in my right ear, yeah. You know how when there's like a car that has crappy brakes and it's like super high frequency. Yeah. I can only hear that out of my cochlear implant. Okay. I can't hear it. I cannot hear it very much out of my right ear, out of my hearing aid. Interesting. And if I took my hearing aid out, forget it. Yeah. And if I took my implant out and my hearing aid, I'm about I'm 100% deaf in this ear. Yeah. And about. I got like 60, 70% here. Yeah, how are you doing, man? Take it easy. I went from like 99%, I went from like 95% hearing in my right ear to 70% overnight because that's how my hearing loss is. Dang. How long did you have the hearing loss? Well, I have Nori's disease, which is like I'm What's blind. That? Well, it's a genetic condition. Okay. You're born blind. Everybody who has it is blind. Some people have hearing loss and some people have mental issues. Okay. Well, I didn't have the mental issues per se. Right. But I did have the hearing loss. 
and it happens like when you start turning 11. Hold on, I'll be right there. I'll find I was right at the there. beach, right? Hold on, yeah. find well, first of all, the hearing in this year, I was at my I was at my sister's house at a party, and the ears and my ears started ringing. I couldn't hear out of it. And it kept going down and down and down and down over like three years. Dang. I was so bad. My doctor, uh, I went to Chapel Hill, and the doctor yeah. said. Uh, Doctor took one look at me, took one look at my chart, said, yeah, you need to go for Is that just your left ear? Yeah. Is your right ear? Um... My right ear was, like, had 90% hearing in it up until, like, one day in August of 2019. I was at yeah. the beach. Well, that was when it started going down. Yeah, I, went, I was at the beach, right? Fine and dandy, everything. I went to Cracker Barrel, so my yeah. family from New Jersey that I don't get to see that much anymore. Yeah. Get back home. And my ear starts ringing, I can't hear it, or still can't hear it. Like, still didn't get the hearing back. That's it, you know, man, like, that it was interesting, though, like, even think about all, like, the vibration, because you probably, I imagine that you, like, just you bringing it up, saying, like, I can feel the vibration of the music, uh -huh. stuff that a lot of, you know, people don't think about and feel. That's how I judge a club. If you can't feel the vibration of a club, a it's club. a shit club. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't think you had kids. No, sorry, no, no, you're fine. They're, they're young enough that it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah. If you ever, like, study, um... But it's so imperfect. Like, see this when they had their alt rock night a couple yeah. months ago, you couldn't really feel much. You couldn't. You could feel. I mean, they try. I mean, the DJs try. Yeah. They don't really know about the. They don't really know. Hey, we'll see you later. See you guys. Who's Bye. leaving? Bye. Our Bye. friend. Our friend, the Sweeney's. Bye. See you guys. Hey, take it easy, guys. What's your name? That's, that's Jamie. She got her. There you Sorry, go. I'm holding my child here. Oh, hi. Hi. What's your child's name? Sully. Hi, Sully. Say hi, Sully. Oh, how old is she? He's one. Huh? He's one. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Bye. Bye. Joey's a very sweet dude. You're so sweet. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys later. Later, guys. Later, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Like the buildings, like it, it does. I mean, I'm sure the DJs don't know about the structural stuff. Right. But it doesn't matter how hard you try. There's some buildings you're just not gonna feel anything. It kind of makes me think though, too, like in Las Vegas, right? Because they have like some of their crazy clubs. Like they uh, probably designed those, oh, those for are those like for vibration, sure. right? Have those you heard of purpose built for sure? Well, you know, you think about, and, and again, this is like, you know, it's it's a visual thing. So you're probably like, hey, what, you know, what the book? But the the sphere, have you heard about this in Las Vegas? Yes. So I wonder Las if Vegas, though, like I've been like everything's binge watching Vegas content because I'm literally about to go there next year, and I really can't wait. Like, oh god, I can't wait. I was gonna say too, because like I feel like most of it, you know, it's it's biased to being able to like visually see. But I bet an unintended consequence lie is probably for some of the sensory and like vibration it's probably freaking awesome right oh, the yeah. things that people don't they take for granted oh, that yeah. would be like unbelievable like their thing oh love like they'll go to a club and say oh it's pretty cool but like you know they don't realize how important the vibration is yeah they don't realize like how you know they, they just don't realize <laughs> do you um I, like speaker wise like subs like do you love like bass or like what's your what do you, oh, like? Do you I, like if I go to a club I love the bass yeah because the bass is the only thing that you would be able to feel you the feel bass like is like the only thing that would penetrate right? you over there and yep. even your pose vibrating is that is that because like just like a low frequency like vibrates it's like a, in a resonant a, like it's like you know how if a truck goes by yeah and you're in a you're in a building right yeah and a truck goes by or a motorcycle goes by that has a rumble yeah and you feel and it you hear it yeah through the building you don't hear all the other cars but you hear that rumble through the building because it penetrates through it right it's the same with the bass right my daughter blake here now too Hi. Wait, can you say hi to Joey? Can you say hey to Joey? She's up here. She's up here with me. Oh. Can you oh, say hi? She? she is two and a half. Hi. Can you say hi to Joey? My baby cousin just turned two the other day. Yeah. Joey's our friend. What's up? Hi. Yeah. She's having fun here at the brewery. Oh, yeah. 
There's a cool spot. She's got plenty of hair. She my, does. My she has long hair, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, a bunch of these kids, like, they go to, a, you know, quote-unquote preschool together, basically a daycare. Yeah. But, um, so we, you know, met some of the different families. This, this, why, this place is awesome. Like, when they had the food truck Fridays and everything. Obviously, oh, yeah. it's a little different now, but, like, it's just, like, yeah. kid running around. Oh, my God. Right? You know what? To me, kind of scary because if you're, if you're trying to get your food, Oh, and you yeah. can't see and you're hearing impaired. Oh. You've got kids coming at you from this way and that way and that. Oh. It's uh It's hard not being hearing impaired like too, right? Because they just like are flying. Oh yeah. Right. It's like stimulus overload, right? What's coming from what direction you uh -huh. can't see it or hear it, right. Yep. Yeah, well, this building is impervious too. This building well actually this building does have a lot of wood. This yeah. Wood helps with vibration. With like, paneling and everything, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Prohibition Bar, right? Oh, yeah. Prohibition is a wooden, it's a wooden foundation. And, you know, like, you can have a wooden floor. Like, there's no, there's nothing that's different that I can show you. You know how you tap your cane, right? Yeah. And it sounds like this. Well, if I could, I wish I could show you. You know what? I could show you probably on the... Eh, I don't know. I want you to... The, the, you know how the bottom of the bar has wood? At Prohibition? No, here. Oh, the bottom of the bar? Here. Over yeah, I was going to show you yeah. how the sound is. Guys, this is so cool talking about sound. Okay. Oh, there's a chair. Okay. Actually, it's not quite like this, but you hear this versus this yeah okay that's the the bar is wood yeah this is straight concrete right right, right. and if it's on a slab it won't right but see yeah. there's a club in raleigh called alchemy okay okay that has a basement yeah that is the best club i have ever been to oh my god when you walk in there you can feel literally everything on just that because it was on wood, or no? It's not on wood, but there's a basement. I mean, I, don't, I think there's speakers under the building or something. Because yeah, I, I don't like, know anything about this. That'd be sweet. Huh? Yeah, I'll say, man. Uh, like, you should get into a um, like vibration engineering. You oh, probably, is that a thing? Yes, it absolutely is. Um, it is. It's the most like structural engineering for. Um, so like standard structural engineering for buildings that we can call it like very deterministic, it's very code based, but high performance buildings, it's all performance based design, it's all the dynamics and the vibration of the structural members. And then so we get asked questions all the time about like, um, what do you call it, acoustical engineering and things like that. And they're like, hey, how does this structure vibrate? And if this machinery, if there's an air conditioning unit operating a certain frequency, that can screw up the sound of a theater. And it's like very, you should look, oh, yeah. look it up, oh, look wow. it up. Look up acoustical engineering. See, I'm only 24 and I love my job. Yeah, what and do you like, do? There's not, and my dad's like, you should go to college and be like, and you know, like you, you're so smart, you do so much more than just like, you know, being a Zeppler in a factory, even though I love it. I'm not saying you should get, but like, it's fun. Like, it'd be a cool I thing to would, look into. So cool, if you, you know, like, it, I'm not saying you'd be an expert, but just know, like, what's going What are the mechanics of how? Because you obviously, you would feel for it. Right. Did you see, um, um, did you watch the movie Oppenheimer? Did you see that when it came out? No. I, That's really I don't good. really watch movies because I didn't, I don't, I didn't, I've never really been into movies. It's you know, audio and visual, so you will miss out on stuff. So there's, um, I think he says, there's like a line, because the uh, Oppenheimer, right, did the Manhattan Project. You guys that now? Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys. Sounds like Jer Oh, who's leaving now? Oh, our other friends here. Oh, oh bye. Good. Hey, Brad. Oh. Joey's saying bye. Oh, Brad. Yeah. Brad. So good to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for my food, man. No problem, my friend. Here, remember, yeah. with you. There's my little Cal son here. He's Cal two years old. Hi. This is foot. You grab it. Oh, hi. He's being shy. You say hi? It's Daddy and Sunday, huh? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, you going to sleep? You, you can come here a lot? Uh, every now and again. I probably won't be back till it's warm. Yeah. yeah. We'll be back out here. When's your dad coming to pick you up? I don't know when I call him. 
<laughs> when he decides to answer his mother effing phone. He's not answering? Nope. But see, I called him about my car, I tried to, about my card, but he didn't answer, and I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll just offer somebody cash to buy me some beer. <laughs> you live around here? Ah. You live with him? Yeah. Where's that? Huh? Where's that? Way, way down, like out in Valentine, but I worked like 10 minutes from here. Nice. All right. Hi. All right. We'll see you guys. Hey, see you later. Take it easy, guys. Man, and what's your name? Hunter. Nice to meet you, Hunter. Dude, Joey. Nice to meet you, man. You're so cool. Like you're so cool. Oh man. Like that would be cool. I don't really do much of it anymore. Um, I'm more in like the business development sales side. But yeah, what I used to do more for the nuclear power plants. We would do a lot of seismic, earthquake engineering. Oh wow. And. Um, and also some blast stuff, but all of that's rooted oh, so in. You know what? Hmm. So basically, don't go to a club in California because that's be stiff as hell with just earthquakes. Exactly. Or it might have to be flexible enough. So like the the high buildings, they're so flexible the earthquake doesn't impact them. Because you can imagine if you like put a a ruler in your hand and started shaking it. If you shake it really fast, it won't move at the top, right? Oh wow. You think about it because it's too flexible, it won't it feel the movement of you shaking it really fast. But if you move it really slow, it's gonna fall over. So it's the same deal as a really tall building. Hey, let's see if you see you. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. She just walked out the door. Huh? She just walked out the door. She didn't see it. Oh, who was that? That was Brad's wife there. Oh, hang on. Let me say goodbye to the rest of you. I'll be right back, Joey. Hang on one second. Where are you going? I'll be right back. Hello. But somehow that was like the, like, what well, I really love for you. I He was so different from this time of night on a summer day. Yeah. It is like... Tomorrow's supposed to be... Tomorrow's supposed to be, like, horrible. I can't imagine... I mean, I know they got to be open because somebody's going to come around. They said they were open. F them. You know, you got to. Rachel's out. Huh? Are your friends leaving? Do you remember the game Connect Four? You ever hear that one? Yeah. I played it, but I'm trying to pick up all the pieces here to find them. Oh, wow. Oh, that's what you're trying to do is collect all the pieces? Oh, there's a doggy. There's a couple dogs over there. Oh, I love dogs. You guys have any dogs at home? Yeah. What kind of dogs you got? No, oh, I have a Moxie Poo. Oh, nice. He's a butthole. He's a what? So when he was a puppy, he was nice, and we named him Angel. But yeah. now that he's become a mama's boy, he's become a butthole to everybody. He's a butthole? Huh? He's a butthole. Yeah. Is that where the game is? Huh? Hi. Hey, I'm Joey. I'm right back. Hey. I was going to go see the doggies.
Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, what's your name? I'm Jen, what's your name? Joey. Nice to meet you, Joey. Nice, what you up to? We're playing cards right now, actually. We're oh, playing gambling? some rummy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we in Vegas. Yep, I Vegas, wish. baby. I wish. Hey, six five blackjack on the strip anyway. <laughs> Bye. It was nice to meet you, Joey. How old are you? I'm 30. Guess how old I am. How old are you? Guess. 31. No, younger. 28. Younger. 22. Older. <laughs> 25. Younger. 24. Yes, there you go. Did you, just, gonna... did you just turn 24 or have you been 24? I've been 24 since July. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, I was gonna I was gonna let you guess that one until you got it. <laughs> Cause I wanted you to win today. Oh well thank you, because I'm losing at cards. So oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Well at least I'm not there to see you losing. Yep. <laughs> see? I love making blind jokes. <laughs> you know my favorite blind joke to tell somebody is? Yeah. Let's it's hear usually it. get a woman rolling. I'm I'm blind, but I can. See, you're so beautiful that even a blind man can see it. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. Of course, <laughs> of course. Anytime. You too. Where are you from? Asheville. Where are you from? Here. Cool. I've been to Asheville. It's, it's like good, this. Good they call spot. it San Francisco of the South. Yeah. Weird. Fun and weird. <laughs> Which like me, fun and weird. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I know. It, it, it definitely, if it feels the opposite of you outside, it definitely feels like that there. You've got the pickup lines with you today, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> this is, my, I actually have my wife sitting right across from me. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, well, I didn't see her there. <laughs> but, hey, nice to meet you. I'm oh, Holly. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Holly. Nice to meet you. I'm nice Joey. Nice to meet you. I hope you're having a good night. Yes. Yes? Better now I met you guys. Oh! <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, oh man, like, I love, like, I love to make it where, is he giving me a compliment to, or talking crap about himself? The answer is both. <laughs> but I remember I told somebody that, right? And she's like, oh, thank you. But how do I trust you if you're blind? And how I was do you like, trust you? Huh? Like, how can I trust you when you say I'm beautiful if you're blind? <laughs> it's all about the personality. All about the yes. inside. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We see that before we see the outside. <laughs> be like, somebody be like, you, you have somebody like people be going after her and you be like, what the hell are you going after her for, man? <laughs> and be like, why? She's gorgeous and this and that. And I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. She can't get in there. She can't, she can't even get David Tepper. <laughs> David Tepper? You ain't know who David Tepper is? I do know David Tepper. Everybody knows David Tepper and his Tepper tantrums. He just got fined, didn't he? For throwing yeah. a drink on someone. Yeah. That's he hilarious. threw a drink on someone. He got fined for throwing a drink on somebody, but now I'm drinking with some with, with two people who are fine. <laughs> oh, I could do this all night. <laughs> I could do this all night. We, I mean, dinner, this is so... we have dinner reservations in a minute, unfortunately. Oh. Well... <laughs> I'd pay for them if I knew about them. Oh, well, thank you. You know what? I told my buddy, I told my friend once, I said, baby, you're so beautiful. I'd jump in front of a bus if I saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Don't do that. <laughs> That's what I said if I saw it coming. She's like, e <laughs> No. <laughs> hey, have you, you got ever... jokes. You I... got jokes. I yeah. love it. Have you ever seen Ray Charles' wife? No. Neither is he. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Just like you. I can't stop. Once I'm on a roll, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm like Limp Biscuit. I stay rolling. <laughs> Although, you, 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 you know Limp Biscuit, right? You know who Travis Scott is? 
Yeah. The Limp Biscuit of rap music. Just making everybody start stuff. <laughs> yeah, Astro World. He said, Yeah, let's go. Let's get crazy. Let's break stuff. And I'm like, Is he the Limp Biscuit of rap? I don't know any of Limp Biscuit stuff. Oh, I only know Limp Biscuit because rolling, 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 and I know like the name Limp Biscuit sounds like who would ever want to eat that <laughs> and uh that's an awesome name and that actually described them describes the band very well because they're all a bunch of try hard to have limp biscuits mm. like really they overcompensate so much for their limp biscuit yeah like you know how when people the people that do the craziest stuff that's like like people cut jokes like me right you know the people that try hard and don't land very yeah. well? Those are the ones you know have limp biscuits. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that phrase. Huh? I'm gonna start calling people limp biscuits. Now. Yeah. You know what? My my my. Uh, you know how? Um, have, I don't know if you ever seen the big frail typewriter. No. Because like I haven't actually seen one in years since I left school. Because we really don't use them anymore outside of math class. Yeah. Guys, we have everything on our phones, just like the sighted people. Mm -hmm. like, you know, just like the sighted people, we can call Uber, we can read our menu on the That's phone. That's amazing. Like, you know what I like to do when I go to a restaurant? I'm like, you know, it's just like, oh, here's a menu for you. I'm like, oh, don't worry, I can't read it. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, how do you know what you want? I was like, oh, I looked it up on my phone before I got here. There you go. Uh -huh. Looked up before I got here. That's what they're like telling her buying jokes one time when I was at the steakhouse and she's like is a warm red center okay and I'm like you know I really I guess so but I don't know because I've never seen one <laughs> I see this thought that was a great one so uh luckily I didn't do this because apparently my cards messed up I didn't know this luckily I didn't tell people this I literally offered cash to buy the beer up for, for people to buy me beer up front uh, last one and I'm about to leave but then like my um but never if a blind man comes up to you and says uh yo uh I need cash for beer I'll pay you next time I see you you'll never see that money no absolutely because if he pays you next time he sees you you're screwed <laughs> Cause he won't see you <laughs> yep absolutely oh i got this guy on the train so good i was on the train and we were talking about traveling and he says i said i love new york city i had so much fun there i said i don't like big cities because they're garbage heaps i said dude i went there for a week i went to all five boroughs and i didn't see any garbage he said where did you go and i'm like i'm blind dude i just got you good <laughs> he's like Shit. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Oh, you want to hear a really messed up one? Sure, let's hear it. So I'm on the train, and this lady in a wheelchair is sitting next to me. So I go to get something on the train. I come back, I accidentally bump into her leg, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there." And she's like, "Oh, don't worry, I didn't feel it." <laughs> Wait, I, I don't think I get that one. She, she was numb, like she was paralyzed in her leg. She couldn't feel anything. Oh, oh no. And she's like, don't worry, I didn't feel it. I'm like, whoa. That's funny. That's yeah. Funny. And I'm like, uh, oh, we should, my friend, uh, Co I don't know if you're a Carolina Panther fan. I am. So am I. So you know what? You know what I did? Bless my own damn heart, because... Ever since I did this, we sucked. Look at my hearing aid. And you suck now? Oh, because you got a Panther Blue? Yeah. We sucked. I got that in 2020. The year we hired Matt Rule, the worst yep. thing we ever did. Exactly. Totally agree. And then we did that. And we have never been good since. Should I just got my hearing aid where no one could see it? No, because I don't care who sees it. <laughs> They're going to know I'm hearing impaired when I have to ask them to repeat themselves three times. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I just love telling these jokes because sighted people are afraid to tell them. 
because they basically can't. Yeah. No, I like it. We tell gay jokes because we're gay, so. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Hey, at least you joke about it. I don't think I know any off the top of my head, though. What? I have to look some up. Oh. <laughs> you got any good ones? No. <laughs> I really tend to joke about blind people. Yeah. Although, the thing I do say about, like, people that are all, like, so up in arms about gay people and stuff, I say, if they're a guy, I tell them, dude, you're so worried about what another man is doing behind closed doors that mm -hmm. you sound gay yourself. Exactly. Totally agree. Yeah, like, I was like, dude, why are you so worried about what that man's doing behind closed doors? Like, you worried you couldn't get, you, you jealous you couldn't get with him? Probably so. Yeah. Strange, strange world out there. Yeah, like weirdos. Like, come on, man. Like, they ain't hurting you. You know? Let, gays and lesbians aren't going around there out, like, you know, hurting people because they're not or anything. No, absolutely. Oh, these go in there. I think we're about to head to our dinner reservation. Where are you going? Um, we are going to uh, Catalina. Catalina. Catalina Kitchen. Where's that? That looks good. It's like right oh, so you got to drive to it? Yeah, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, yeah. You got to drive on Central Avenue. You got to drive through the construction. They're undergrounding it. They are? They're undergrounding. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're putting the power oh, lines yeah, yeah. underground. Yeah. Yep, yep. Which they should just narrow Central to one lane anyway because it's so congested. No one wants to drive on it. Until I need to drive on it. <laughs> yeah, but you <laughs> know I'm what? They're going to make it a social district, and that's going to yeah. be that's gonna be a freaking disaster. That's true. Like, I, I want the social district to do well, but that's going to be a shit show mm -hmm. because somebody's going to trip and fall over oh, the yeah. railroad tracks. Yep. Somebody's going to get hit by a fast car on Central. Yep. They're going to be stopping that social bit. We better drink up and get wasted <laughs> well lasted. Yeah, you're very right. Yes. <laughs> Super nice to meet you. Bye, Have a good Jim. night. Bye, Jen. Nice to See meet you. See you later. See you later, gorgeous. I know. I know I can never get you, but I still love you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye, Bye Holly. Bye. It was very nice to meet you, honey. You too. Have a good honey. night. You too. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. I love hugs. We can tell, but that's okay. Huh? I said we can tell, but that's okay. How old are you? 30? So both of you are the same age. We are. Yes. Bye, Queens. See you Bye. later. Have a good night. You know why they call this, you know why they call Charlotte the Queen City? Why? Because there are a lot of beautiful <laughs> women like you. Yeah. You know, I agree with you. Huh? I agree with you. Yes. Night, Kelly. Bye. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, what's your name? I'm Ashley. Oh, I'm Joey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joey. What you up to? Just hanging out. Just hanging out. I'm Sean, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys an item? Yeah. Yes. Everybody is. You know why? Because I'm looking for one. <laughs> how it goes. <laughs> how old are you guys? 26. 26, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm 24. Yeah, I'm looking for one, but see, I'm blind, so I know I know I might never see one. But hey, I can still tell them blind joke pickup lines. Still works. Like it, it feels the opposite of it feels like the opposite of you outside. I remember one time there's this one one uh, paratransit driver that I'm cool with. And, you know, of course I tell those girls blind jokes. <laughs> because they're around blind people all day. They get the, they get it, like, for real. <laughs> and so, like, I told her, I said, uh, literally, you're so hot. Because the one, what happened was she had gone for a smoke. She turned the bus off, yeah. stepped away, gone for a smoke. Hey, Joe, it's Hunter, That's man. Cool. Saying goodbye, man. I'm heading See out. See you, Hunter. Dude, nice talking to you. So See you nice back talking here. About dude, clubs, nice talking to you, man. Yeah, man. Nice dude, you. vibration. Acoustic engineering. Yeah, good vibration. Yeah, see, we were talking about, he's a structural engineer, and we were talking about clubs. Oh, yeah. And how, like, certain clubs suck because they have, like, they're, they're uh, like, lost and found. I don't know if you ever been there. Uh -uh. No, I don't think so, yeah. It's fun. Yeah. But I will warn you, 
don't like it as much as I like some other clubs because as fun, as much as they try to make it fun and as much as the DJs try, the building is so impervious that they can never get it to vibrate. Because, see, you know how when I do this, yeah. when I tap on this, you know how it like gives? Yeah. When you tap on concrete, it doesn't give. Right. Okay, when the music goes at Lost and Found, it doesn't give. Well, it goes at a real club, it's like... Yeah. Yeah, it'll give because it's either wood or it has a basement or something. I don't yeah. know how. There's one club in Raleigh that's the best vibration I've ever heard. Yeah. It's called Alchemy. I don't know if you've ever been to Raleigh. No, I've, been, we've, we've been to Raleigh and we've been to a bar near it. Near it, yeah. Oh, really, like, no, you, you know what? We can actually go to Alchemy, yeah. Oh, God, guys, you really need to go. Raleigh is probably one of the most <laughs> underrated tourist cities between Atlanta and Washington, D.C. Yeah. If you're looking somewhere to go that's not like an over-touristy place, go to Raleigh. Yeah. <laughs> they got, I mean, they've got bars. They've yeah. got, I mean, they got bars. But like, if you want a more chill thing, they got that. If you want breweries, they got plenty. If you want, if you want to go crazy, yeah. go to Alchemy. <laughs> what happens to Alchemy doesn't stay there, but they won't judge you. <laughs> no, we're not from Charlotte. We're from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Oh wow! Um, do you have any good clubs up there? Well, so yes, we do. Uh, it's funny that you say that about the vibration. We have this one club in Pittsburgh that the dance floor is on the upstairs. So if you're like on their main floor, you can see the ground You can actually feel it even on the dance floor. Yeah, like you can see the dance floor moving like above you. So there they do, you know, you can feel the vibrations. Like, I mean, um, if like you're on the dance floor, it's like being at the stadium. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What club is this? <laughs> you gotta I have north. to go there. Yeah, so you'll be able to feel the floor moving since it's up there. Is it called Vibrations? No, it's called Foxtail. It's called what? Foxtail. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I have to go there. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so cool. But does it, like, what does it do? Does it rock back and forth? And, like, you know how in the it's stadium like, when people get up, it's like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like jumping, like... Oh. You can feel yeah. it under your feet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, alchemy? If one person jumps, you can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> it is so responsive. I adore that place. <laughs> it is so, I mean, I go up there every, I mean, really, I should go up there every three months. But it's just, you know, I live three hours, two yeah. hours away. Yeah. Well, if I could drive and stuff, I'd be going up there every, every other month or so. Yeah. My sister lives in Raleigh, so we've been out a couple times. Uh, but what's your sister's name? Uh, her name is Sarah, and um, she has, I have a niece and um, two nephews, so whenever I go out to visit, it's to hang out with little kids, it's not to... Uh, <laughs> well, hey, we'll, we'll put the anything. little kids on the, we'll put the little kids on the, uh, on the cartoons, go to Alchemy, <laughs> and maybe I'll be there and I'll get to see you again and I'll get to meet your sister. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Sean, you might have to let me borrow her for five minutes at Alchemy because I'll be plastered and wanting to dance with everybody. <laughs> of course, of course. Like, <laughs> most people at Alchemy are fine. At Lost and Found, they'll just do you like this. Like, like, no, no, she's taken. Yeah. Like, find somebody out there covered up. Like, you think about football, the receivers are covered up. Like, no, yeah. not open. <laughs> you find an open, you find a girl that wants to dance, that's like finding an open receiver for a touchdown. <laughs> Charlotte? Yes. Yeah. So you're used to the Panthers and their seasons and everything. Oh yeah, I'm used to the Panthers just sitting in a bad picture. I'm used to it being so bad that I could see the losses coming from a mile away. <laughs> and then this year they were so bad that my blindness itself could see it. <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Yeah, y'all yeah, haven't been so hot this year. No, no. Y'all always find a way to make the playoffs, even though y'all suck because y'all have a great coach. Yeah, yeah. yeah someone's got to lose for us to. Yeah, make our way but see, that's in. the way it always is. Someone always have to, has to lose for you. You can't be the number one seed. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need a new coach. We, finally got huh? we definitely need a new coach now. I mean, he's, a, he's done all he can see. You gotta understand, like how I mean, he had Ben Roethlisberger for all those years. Yeah. Ben only got one. Yeah. But what do you expect him to do with Kenny Pickett and Mitch Trubisky? Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Uh, I don't see that working out. I know I'm blind, but I don't see it working out. <laughs> they should have kept Ben on for like a coaching position or something to help them transition that over, I think. I oh, mean, Kenny Pickett, Mitch, learn a little bit. I don't know why, because see, what happens is if that coach is not better than Mike Tomlin, which he isn't going to be, yeah. then you're going to be like, why do we fire Mike Tomlin? Yeah. Yep, it's just going to be an endless cycle for Yeah, a like you're going to, I mean, you need to keep Mike Tomlin until Mike Tomlin doesn't want to keep Mike Tomlin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like, he, that's what you need to do because, like, you see, and he's, like, he's young, he's still got a left in him. Bill Belichick's, like, 70 years yeah. old. I'm like, dude. Really? Bill Belichick. Oh, wow. He's old, he's, and he yeah. has Matt Patricia, and he just has to have Matt Patricia be his offensive quarter. I'm like, Dude, the dude's background is defense, number one. Number two, he's not that good at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's so, obviously, to be good at being a defensive coordinator, you got to know offense. You weren't a good defensive coordinator, so how do you know offense? <laughs> <laughs> Just got to try it at everything before they kick you out. Yeah. You know what? My, my teacher's like, I'm so amazed how much you know about football and you've never seen it. <laughs> and you know what? I, I had to text him. I, I, I still talk to him sometimes. I text him. My teacher I said, his name is Mr. Duffy. I said, Mr. Duffy, I'm so amazed at how much, the, how little the Panthers coaches know about football and they've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to have 11 Super Bowl rings. It's like they got 11 O-rings in the toilet bowl. <laughs> I mean, you look at David Tepper throwing a drink on him, and you're like, bless his heart. <laughs> he had to throw that drink. I feel bad for the person who poured it. <laughs> First of all, they had to pour it for David Tepper. Second of all, see, a drink should never be poured on someone that you don't like. It should be in your belly. And then when it's in your belly, you can punch someone you don't like. <laughs> of course, I don't have a cake violence unless it's against the type of <laughs> Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Can you? So one of you help me find the bathroom and the other one watch my beer? Yeah, of course. Huh? Yeah, I'll take Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You guys are so cool. <laughs> You're cool. Thank you. And you just come up and talk to everyone. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't care. That's like, cool. people are like, oh, I don't want to yeah. talk around the girls. Like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. All right. See you later. Find someone else. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Where's that? Oh, cool. Thank you. See, I don't like, I don't understand, like, people that hit on women that don't like being hit on. Come on, man. She don't want to be hit on. How could you have fun? <laughs> But you know, you tell the man to come on, but he's probably never come, so. <laughs> go ahead and go to the right a little bit. Yeah. You guys married? Uh, we are actually planning.